Mr. Hultz, welcome. Thank you. Uh, thank you for joining us. Ambassador, wonderful to have you here, to have all of you here today. And um, we are uh, about to under, uh, undertake uh, not just signing a piece of paper, but beginning a, uh, what I hope will be a deep and broad collaboration that ultimately has the goal of protecting our citizens, and not just the citizens of the United States and the Netherlands, but hopefully will lead to ideas and solutions that worldwide can make a real difference. Um, as you know, and I, I told you earlier, um, this terrible storm, uh, Sandy, one of the worst in our nation's history, uh, affected my hometown in a way that was uh, unlike anything we'd seen in our lifetimes. And uh, it has also raised an awareness about the needs that we have as a country going forward, not just for the region, but for the entire country. And so um, also, as I have seen very personally in my own visit recently, uh, at the beginning of the new year to the Netherlands, uh, you all have a depth and length of understanding of these issues that no one else in the world does. And uh, I believe that there is much that this agency, me personally, this president, our whole administration can gain from the collaboration that we are entering into. Not just about how we protect our citizens from flooding, but also how we think about uh, our neighborhoods, our uh, citizens' daily lives, and how we integrate that with uh, the planning and the work that we're talking about uh, today and that we'll be working on together in the months to come. So thank you for your leadership. Uh, on behalf of the President, welcome uh, to the United States. And I look forward uh, to working with you very closely in the months to come uh, to help all of our citizens prosper uh, in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Donovan. Well, I also look very, work, uh, very much forward to um, collaborate on, um, uh, on the subject we discussed uh, this, uh, this hour. Um, as you know, uh, it's in the genes of the Dutch to protect <laughs> themselves from flooding, but we still also have to learn a lot about becoming more resilient if something really happens. And um, uh, I visited um, the United States after Katrina. Um, tomorrow I'm going to see the uh, area where Sandy um, uh, led to floodings and um, what I saw is that uh, uh, you were able uh, to rebuild quickly, to react uh, in a good way and so we can learn also from, uh, from you mm -hmm. how to do so if something really happens and um, I'm looking forward to uh, working together not just on the technical solutions but also on the organizational solutions, uh, how to find the right way to um, make people more aware and make politicians more aware that it's not just reacting after a disaster, but uh, preventing from flooding, preventing uh, uh, up in front, and uh, also working on working together in spatial planning and how to do so, knowing that we live in special areas where yeah. something can happen sometimes. So I'm glad that we can sign this memorandum today. Uh, for working together, and um, I hope we will learn a lot from each other. I know we will. Thank you. Thank you. So, just one. A marriage, is it? <laughs> <laughs> a long and happy one. Yeah. Is it yours? Thank you. Thank you for all the <laughs> much. Uh, <laughs> the person for you. You must know uh, that. Um, 
um, the Netherlands and uh, the United States have had a, a long uh, relationship during the past centuries. And uh, I wanted to give you something from the past. Um, I don't know, you visited Delft. Yep. And in Delft, we have our uh, Delft uh, towels, or Delft earthenware. Yeah. It's very famous. And um, I didn't want to give you some new uh, earthenware, although there are uh, terrific uh, new designers. But I wanted to give you something from the past. This is a plate from 1730. Wow. Um, so it's a uh, very old, survived Older many than years. Older country. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, I would like to give it to you and um, uh, let it be part of a long-lasting relationship for the coming 300 years. <laughs> Thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> Thank you. And for you, um, two gifts. One, a special HUD pen yeah. that you can remember the signing yeah, yeah. of this uh, important document work. on this day, <laughs> which does work, exactly. <laughs> and um, this is a tradition that we have in the US that began in our armed forces uh, to create commemorative coins that yeah. are shared as a symbol of collaboration and friendship with uh, other, originally other branches of the armed forces but now has become a broader tradition among agencies around the federal government that we share uh, our coins okay. with each other. This is a special commemorative uh, version of that uh, coin for HUD uh, for my agency. And it's uh, in the symbol of our working together in the months okay. to come. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. OK. <laughs> yeah, I have some questions. Um, I just want to kind of talk to some of the specific goals, and I'll start with you, Mr. Secretary, on what you want to accomplish out of this uh, mem memorandum of understanding. So, um, as I said earlier, the Netherlands, uh, more than any other country in the world, has led on not just the technical solutions to preparing for rising sea levels and extreme weather, um, that's an area where we have much to learn. And in fact, when I visited uh, the Netherlands, and we were uh, laughing about the fact that I was wearing three-dimensional glasses watching the city of Delft, where this uh, was made, be flooded. Uh, and that ability to use the combination of science and technology to understand the impacts of flooding down to a very specific neighborhood level, literally, um, small walls, parking garages, a whole set, uh, the way those interact. That's an area where we have much to learn, and I believe we could help the, the New York region be better prepared uh, the next time. But it's not just technical solutions on infrastructure, on science, on technology. Uh, but I also saw that the uh, Dutch have integrated into their day-to-day -day lives the way that they literally plan their neighborhoods, they build their homes, uh, they organize their uh, cities and towns by thinking from the very beginning about the potential for flooding. And, and so, for example, rather than building simply a, a, a protective barrier against the sea, they've created beautiful parks uh, or other uh, public amenities that incorporate flood protection but that accomplish much more for recreation and, uh, and other types of approaches. Those are also efforts that we can benefit from because, uh, as, as the mayor in New York has often said, uh, we ha we're, we're trying to reconnect people to the, to the sea uh, and to the water, and we need to find ways to continue to do that while also better protecting the citizens going forward. So those are areas on planning, urban planning, that I think uh, we have much to learn from the Dutch as well. So is it going to be a combination, you think, of um, is there going to be everything on the table from Well, as, as we've seen, uh, as I saw in the Netherlands, as we've talked about, uh, and as the minister knows better than anyone, um, there is no single s magic bullet to these questions. Uh, it needs to be integrated from the way that we're rebuilding homes right now in the Rockaways uh, to the way that we think on a regional level about transportation infrastructure. So 
uh, we will be looking at and studying all of those. And I think we'll continue to get advice and input uh, from the Netherlands on how to combine those solutions. Not that any single one is the right answer, but how to combine those solutions to the best, uh, for the best outcomes. And then kind of, I mean, just talk about what, uh, what you think. I mean, I know you're going to the New York region tomorrow. Based on what you've seen, what, what do you think is the biggest area uh, to learn from the Netherlands? Well, I, can, I think we can learn from each other because, um, uh, as you know, the Netherlands is uh, for 60% beso- below sea level, and 60% of our GDP is earned below sea level. So for us, it's very important to have a very high protection level. And we can um, learn the people from New York how to do so by technical measures, by organizational measures, uh, by uh, spatial planning. But on the other hand, what uh, the Dutch have, because we've worked for so many centuries on our safety, is that people um, think nothing can happen in the Netherlands. And of course, also in the Netherlands, a big storm uh, combining with uh, uh, rising sea level can uh, cause problems. So we want to learn how to be more resilient uh, and to uh, react um, uh, in the right way when something happens. And I think that the United States, especially uh, New York, but also Katrina, uh, New Orleans, which I visited uh, in the past, you have more experience how to evacuate and how to uh, get people more aware uh, that something can happen. So it, it will be a learning process to wait. I mean, is this an unprecedented agreement? Have you gone into other, have you had other types of memorandum of understanding? Uh, we Any have. Th- uh, this is something that for President Obama has been uh, a broader effort. I think uh, when he came into office, we felt, uh, too many countries felt that the U.S. had turned their back on the rest of the world. And uh, the President has directed all of us to re-engage with the world. And uh, in this area, I, this is one of uh, the partnerships that I'm most excited about. There are other countries around the world that we've engaged with to work on a whole range of other issues as well. 